right now. I don't know really what I'm doing. still wasn't enough. Can you even see me? There we go. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm really hoping it's gonna work. It was really hard to make even a segment of the wall to push inwards towards the beams. So it's definitely not perfect. I know, I know, I know that um, uh, the electrician was suggesting that you can get bolts to bolt it but we don't have those and I was hoping the mammoth glue would be enough this side is pushed but over there um it needs to be pushed so once th so once this is all dry then and I have more glue then I'll move to that side to do it <sighs> but yeah we'll see I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that it's gonna be okay since I last worked. Pepina, that is not your biscuit. He wants my oat cookie. So it has been a hot minute since I worked on the caravan. I came back for my trip from Italy not too long ago and since then I haven't gotten around to it. But today I hope to at least do a little bit of work in there. Basically, the electrician gave me these little, um, You'll see them in a moment with these little grey boxes that I need to stick to the wall and that essentially is what the plugs 
all the sockets or the light switches will sit into so that all the wires behind the socket aren't trapped in all the insulation if that makes any sense so yeah so yeah i'm gonna go do that before all the dramatic music and stuff this is currently my lock mechanism to my caravan door because it has no lock so i just i just put a rock in front of the door boxes to the walls today because it took the entire tube to stick that wall together um so that sucks a bit it didn't even stick this very well to the wall but it did my best um but yeah so unless dad has some i'm gonna have to wait for a while until we go to the good old hardware shop whatever you call it to get some more which is a shame because I really just wanted to start getting into this because everything's so slow okay hi I need to do something about my hair some time has passed dad's back he gave me these two um, this is the same thing I was just using the mammoth glue this is a British version apparently instant nails apparently it just takes longer to dry but it's pretty much the same thing I'm going to start with this and see how it goes.
screws in just to make sure that the beams that I want, the wood that I just put in is more secure. Because the reason why I put it there is because, as I've said, the grey box that I've just stuck to the wall is what's going to be holding a socket. So maybe if you're putting a, a plug in or, you know, taking it out, you want to make sure that the socket is firmly put into the wall. So these beams have been put in just to sort of secure it a bit better. And so I will put in some more screws here and there to just make sure it's a bit more sturdy. Otherwise, um, that's pretty much all. I think that's all for today. This is insulation that I bought quite a long time ago for this caravan and though I still need the electrician to do all of his electrical stuff, I can um, close off some walls so I might as well. I mean it would be easier if I could just kind of do it all in one go but um, it is what it is. Um, I just had breakfast, so carrying this downstairs is not the best idea to do after eating. It's like... Um, but anyways, the main part that I can close off is this back area. Because there's no wires here, there's no plugs. The only, the only electricity are... Well, there's a socket right here and two lights up here, but those are kind of just out of the way. And the first thing I want to do is I have some old wood from when I was taking apart the original inside. The original inside, the bed, had was really freaking big and it had this long sheet of plywood, if that's the right phrase to use for that. And that sheet of plywood I think I'm going to use for the under part here because I will be putting a bed here again but um, because you're not going to see what's under the bed. I can use older wood here. So that's what I'm going to do. And then the rest of it will be like, you know, more nice looking wood, I suppose. Um, but yeah, wherever um, I know that there's going to be something hidden, then I might as well just use an older wood for that because you won't really see it. So yeah, that's the main plan. Um, it's going to rain today. So I'm not too sure how much of this I'm going to get done.
looking yeah I know that the wood looks pretty dirty I'm gonna like clean it a bit and sand it a bit but um here it is this is because this is areas that you're not gonna see in the end but around the window I'm gonna put like a much nicer wood um biscuit what the heck are you doing over there never mind anyways so yeah around the window is gonna be a much nicer wood otherwise there and there you're not gonna really see so it's fine um yeah it started raining again it stopped and then it's raining again i was hoping i could start maybe doing this side of the wall because the wood that i'm gonna have here is most likely like um it's like kind of like it's not pallet wood it's just like planks of wood going across i don't have those at the moment but i do have plywood that i was gonna have going along the whole sides of the caravan so I can start putting it along these sides because uh, so long as it's not anywhere near these, the um, where the sockets are going to be, then it's fine because there are going to be no wires. So basically just under the window and on top of the window and then sort of the same, same thing here. So yeah, that's cool. Hope that made sense.